you all what is the good books especially in preparing hs exam for higher level uh, this set of books uh, i strongly recommend it to those who wish to uh, take for the higher level of hsk exam this for hsk level four and this is for level five and this is for level six uh, why i would like to strongly recommend this series of books huh? okay you can see inside here this is the level four huh? So in level four, you know the challenging part is you see all Chinese character, you know, no anything at all. Actually, in fact, from level three onwards, uh, the HSK exam no anything in at all. So friends and students here, I will encourage everyone to start to pick up some simple, easy Chinese character during the level one part one. Ah, this is the reason uh, if let's say you would like to take this HSK exam until the higher level. So this part is quite difficult, huh? you see. They ask you to arrange these three sentences to the correct sequence. Sometimes students well, don't know how to arrange it. Huh? Even though they can read all the Chinese characters, but they don't know how to arrange it. Actually, in this series of books, they will teach you uh, the technique, the answering skill. How can you answer it? Huh? Yeah. So for example, A, B, C here, we don't know how to arrange it. Huh? No worry, they will give you the answer. They will an analyze the answer for you, you know, they will let you know. They will analyze to you. Okay, why the answer is B, C, A? Ah, they said because the B and the C, inside there, they got Sui Ran and Tan Shi. This is a conjunction word. So this always pair together. So that's why after the B must follow the C. Means after this Sui Ran must follow this Tan Shi. In English, we say, oh, means uh, even though, but like, so then they say A is the conclusion. So that's why the sequence will be B, C, A. Uh, this is the reason why. So in this book, they clearly uh, explain to you why we choose this answer, not that answer. Uh, they analyze all, each, every one question to you. Give you Not only give you the answer, but analyze and tell you why is this answer. So that's why I strongly recommend this series of books. Uh, this is for HSK level four. Okay. When in level five, what you need to do, you know, you need to write a short essay. Uh, actually, in fact, it's two, two short essays. Uh. So I show you uh, this book, why I say it's good. Like, for example, this is the, from HSK level five. Uh. This is a short essay question, you know. In level five, for the writing part, question number one, they will give you these five vocab. Uh, these five vocabs. So you need to use up these five vocabs uh, to write. Uh, means a short essay is about 80 characters. So the student must know all these five vocabs, you know. If let's say they don't know these five vocabs, they will have some difficulty. If let's say you only know three, then that means maybe these two, you, you can't get, get the marks for it. Uh, I know a lot of uh, reference book, they have the question, but they don't give you the full answer, you know, like the sample answer they don't give. But in this series of book, they give you. So that's why I said this is a very good reference book huh, for the higher level HSK preparation uh, class. Huh. And the second question for the writing is this. You look at the picture, then you need to tell us about what happened in this picture. And you need to write a short essay. It's about 18 words. So you see, in this book, they give you the answer. So this book will guide you step by step. They give you the, the sample answer uh, so you can refer to it. Uh, of course, it's not the definite answer. Uh, you all can have your own answer, uh, but they give a reference for you, some idea on how to answer the writing part for the level five essay. Uh. They really give you the answering skill, the marking scheme, uh, the um, how to get the marks and uh, everything. Uh. So for level six, you know, they have the listening, reading, and writing part, uh, three parts as well. So for the level six, the reading part, the most difficult part is the this zhao chu yu, uh, zhao chu bing ju, uh, means uh, please find out the which 
which answer they have the uh, mistake uh, they have the error in the either is grammar or vocab anything that means uh, cari cari ayat yang salah okay in bahasa Melayu kan we said which sentence is not correct ah uh, so for this part of question is very very tough huh? so sometimes after we read all these four answers we feel that we all are correct huh? nothing wrong huh? ah so this is the most difficult part for reading huh? anyway no worry in this series of book they will let you know the answer huh? they not only tell you the answer is the a you know they tell you why the answer is the a yeah also this one is really a good book so they will tell you why why you are using this uh, not that uh, why this one is wrong the correct measurement should be this another difficult part for the level six is the writing part you need to uh, summarize it uh. Uh, yeah they give you a thousand characters uh, i say you need to summarize it to become 400 uh, about 400 words so uh, this is the essay uh, they gave it to you the passage uh, after you read it you need to write rewrite it uh, rewrite it into 400 about 400 characters so this book show you everything uh, so uh, so that's why i said this series of books is very good so for the level four uh, uh, level five uh, level six level uh, and come with a CD as well, huh? Come with a CD. Okay.